Hey, 4 by e fans, let's talk about recalls. There's recalls everywhere and recall talk everywhere, as I'm sure you know if you're connected with the 4 by e community in any way, shape, or form. But uh, I wanted to kind of try to compile all uh, the, the re recalls that I could get information on into one video so that you know what's going on. Now, this may sound like bad news, but the good news is all of these recalls are addressable right now as of December 17th when this video is being made. Uh, actually, people were getting their 4 by es worked on with these recalls, I believe, on the 14th and 15th of December. So at first, it sounded like Jeep wasn't going to get the uh, recall remedy out on a couple of these until early next year. Then all of a sudden, people started saying, hey, I'm getting mine fixed. And there's a cool bonus along with one of these. So the first one, the big one that people are worried about is the ZB7 recall, which is the, uh, I think they called loss of motive power recall. That affected some 62,909 Jeeps, I think was the number they put on that. That was a big one a lot of people were worried about. And uh, as if you've been in the 4 by e community for a while, we started seeing that in the community probably in June or July of 2021. Um, people started saying, hey, this thing I was driving along and it just shut down. Um, so that's that. I think that's been a little bit of a an issue for a while. But uh, man, kudos for Jeep for getting that out quick. The cool bonus with that one I'm going to mention here at the end of this video. There's another one, Z71 is a recall that affects like 13,700 some odd uh, Wrangler 4xe's. That's something to do with the 200 amp fuse in the high voltage battery underneath the back seat. And um, it's something that, I don't know if it's a bad fitting or what it is, but it's something that can cause a potential overheat issue. So again, there's a remedy for that at the dealerships. And, and, and keep in mind, all of this is from an American standpoint, North America. I, I, I don't know how these things are handled in other parts of the world. Um, and I know some Canadian 4xE owners are saying they're seeing the recall and they're able to get their vehicle into the dealership and get it worked on. But when a, when a recall is issued by the NHTSA in the United States, I, and, and of course, these are all voluntary recalls. These aren't mandated by the NTHSA or NHTSA, but, um, you know, Jeep is, this is a voluntary thing that they're going along with. So, um, so the, uh, the Z43 is another recall that affected some, I think it's 22 high altitudes and correct me in the comments if I get any of these wrong. I'm, I'm going off of what I'm getting out of the 4 by e community, but it has something to do with those side marker lights that were previously only on the Eurospec version of the Wranglers, but are now on the high altitude uh, here in North America. So it's something to do with the uh, side markers on those mirrors. I, I think they weren't flashing or something like that with the turn signals. I, I, didn't, get, I didn't, you know, it's kind of got mixed information on that. Um, the seat belt pretensioners, that's a Z95 recall. The seat belt tensioners are, I assume it's the pretensioner, the thing that pulls the seat belt back in there. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about that. That's not 4 by e specific. That seems to be something that's impacting uh, a lot of Jeep, uh, not a lot of Jeep Wranglers, but it's across the Jeep Wrangler lineup and not just the 4 by e um, there's a, there's an old recall on the, um, the odometer display. I think that was a Z86 recall. And that was a weird one is, um, the, the, uh, I'm sorry, I think I'm getting them mixed up here. That Z86, I think is the rear camera display. Um, and I haven't heard of anybody in the 4 by e community complaining about this one. Um, that's where the camera does not display on the Uconnect screen. And um, and like I said, I haven't heard of anybody say that anything about that in the 4 by e community, but that is listed on the NHTSA website as being a recall for the Jeep Wrangler. Now, the Z94 recall, that was for 21 Wrangler 4 by es and it, it what was happening is if you reach 13,342 miles on the odometer, all of a sudden your odometer might say missing Odo, and it had to be replaced. I mean, that was, that was, if you caught it before that and got it in. So if you have a 21 four by eight and you have less than 13,000 miles, you might want to check on yours. You go to the NHTSA website, plug in your VIN and see if yours is on that list or the next time you're at your dealership, have them take a look at it. 
But as for me, I'm almost at 36,000 miles on my 21. I can't imagine only having 13,000 miles, but I guarantee you there are some people out there that are under that 13,000 mile mark that if you haven't checked on this and you don't know about this, you might hit that at some point. And um, I think the last one I was able to find anything on was the Z96 uh, recall on the fuel pump. And um, that ha that's not 4xE specific. That seems to be across Dodge trucks and Jeep Wranglers. That seems to be something that's crossed the line. And uh, so that's, that's not just the 4xE. Um, there's also something I've heard just chatter. I don't think there's a recall on this, but I think there's enough chatter going on about a coolant pump leak. Um, I think that has to do with the coolant going to the high voltage battery that some people have seen. And, and enough people have mentioned it that it's not kind of a one-off thing. You know, every once in a while I hear these one-off kind of weird things going on. But that one, you know, there's been enough chatter in the uh, the 4xE fans Facebook group that I kind of go, well, there's something there. Now, as to the bonus to all this, the really cool bonus that I'm excited about. Mine's going Monday. Let's see, this is Saturday the 17th. I'm going in Monday the 19th to have mine done. And I'm stoked about this is the latching e-select mode. You know, if you, if you select electric or hybrid or, or e-save over here on your e-select, that um, that will now be latching. So if you hit it in electric, you go to work, you come back, you never ran your gas engine the next morning when you start it, you'll be in electric mode. And um, I, nothing official, I haven't heard anything official about that, but uh, a lot of owners are saying, hey, I got it done and all of a sudden I have, I have latching e-select. So that was the exciting bonus for me. I really like that part of it. And I'm looking forward to that. So uh, kudos to Jeep for getting these rolled out quick. People get frustrated with recalls. People get scared, especially with the loss of uh, motive force or whatever that one recall is called. You know, that that could be a little scary. And and sadly, there was an injury of some sort. One of the reports I read there, it didn't say what happened, but that loss of power did lead to some sort of accident and did lead to some sort of injury. So hopefully nobody got seriously hurt that with that whatever happened there that led to that. But uh, good job to Jeep. Uh, you know, we were thinking we weren't going to see the fix to this, the loss of power recall until early in 2023. And all of a sudden, midweek this week, probably the 14th or 15th, people said, hey, I was in for an oil change. And they went ahead and did this recall too. Now, I'm also hearing as of the 17th that there are some dealerships that don't have the software to be able to fix that. So I don't know how that works. I don't know if they have to go actively out to a database and get that and bring it into their systems or if it's uploaded to something. I know nothing about how the, the dealerships work, but um, the, the fixes are out there. They are in Canada. Uh, so I would hope every dealership in the United States would have access to, the, access to that at least. So there is all of the uh, current update our current recall updates that I've been able to get my hands on, go to NHTSA and put in your VIN. There's a place you can search my VIN, plug it in there and, um, and, and see what is impacting your vehicle and get it scheduled and get it in. So thanks for watching. Take care.